Hi friends. Today I will talk with you about the structure of a cell. The cell is the basic element of all living organisms. It is the smallest unit of life that is classified as a living thing and is often called the building block of life. You may wonder if a living thing smaller than a cell exists in nature. Yes, there is something like that. Guess what it is? It has viruses. Only viruses, which only consist of DNA and RNA covered by protein and lipids, are smaller than a cell. Organisms can be classified as unicellular, consisting of a single cell, including most bacteria. Or multicellular, including plants and animals. Humans contain about 10 trillion cells. Most plant and animal cells are between 1 and 100 m, and therefore are visible only under the microscope. The cell theory, first developed in 1839 by Matthias Jacob Schleiden and Theodor Schwann, states that all organisms are composed of one or more cells. That all cells come from pre-existing cells. That vital functions of an organism occur within cells. And that all cells contain the hereditary information necessary for regulating cell functions and for transmitting information to the next generation of cells. There are two types of cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are usually independent, while eukaryotic cells are often found in multicellular organisms. Also, the prokaryote cell is simpler and therefore smaller than a eukaryote cell. This is the structure of a prokaryotic cell, externally flagella and pili project from the cell surface. These structures are not present in all prokaryotes. They are made of proteins and facilitate movement and communication between cells. The cell envelope encloses the cell. Generally it consists of a cell wall covering a plasma membrane. The envelope gives rigidity to the cell and separates the interior of the cell from its environment. This way it works as a protective filter. Most prokaryotes have a cell wall. The cell wall acts as an additional barrier against exterior forces. It also prevents the cell from expanding and finally bursting from osmotic pressure against a hypotonic environment. This process is called cytolysis. Also some eukaryote cells, like plant cells and fungal cells, have a cell wall. Inside the cytoplasmic region of the prokaryotic cell there is the cell genome, that is the DNA and ribosomes and various sorts of inclusions. A prokaryotic chromosome is usually circular. Unlike the eukaryotic cell, a prokaryotic has no nucleus. Anyway its DNA is condensed in a nucleoid. Prokaryotes can carry extra chromosomal DNA elements called plasmids, which are usually circular. Plasmids enable additional functions, such as antibiotic resistance. Now I am finished with prokaryotes. But we shall meet again to discuss eukaryotic cells. See you soon. Sunshine fire.